which may or may not, but it depends on who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to a bunch of firemen, I'll say, you guys sacrifice your life for the country, but the real problem is no fires. Well, if they did away with fires, well, I'd lose my job. There's a threat there, too. Now, I spoke to policemen years ago. I never told you this. I spoke to about 50 policemen, and I told them that they could be easily displaced. They said, oh, no, you've got to have policemen all the time. So I began to proceed on how to displace them. I put a chymograph in an automobile, a rotary cylinder, electrically operated with a needle on it. So when you get to a zone of 60 miles an hour, if you do 65, the chymograph registers every violation you made. You have to mail that in every month. And you don't need traffic cops out there on motorcycles. Every violation be indicated by that. So they said, did that put us out of work? I said, yes, you're easy to put out of work. Easy. There's no job that's secure. Nothing. Even surgery will be out 15 or 20 years from now. So it's just a matter of time. And uh, if we live that long, if we live for the next 20 or 30 years, the system will be very bad if we continue the way we are. And I see nothing to stop people from really stop polluting. The peace ship, you know, that gets out and the, they don't want the Japanese killing whales. You know, and we kill chickens and cows because we eat them. See, and the Japanese eat fish. And they eat certain things we don't eat. And it's money in it. So why shouldn't they kill the whales? Who are you to say don't kill the whales? Don't kill anything. Don't kill a fly because they're here made by God. You're killing all God's creatures. You know, that, there's no way to deal with that subject. The Peace Corps is a... They want peace, but they don't know that peace is a product of culture. And peace is the interval between wars. There never has been peace as a system. There's always been wars. That's a natural thing. Natural for humans the way they are today. Where do they get it? From the Bible. Revenge is sweet. The Jews were permitted to kill people, have sex with people that were non-Jews. Did you know that? And I told you about Salem, Massachusetts, didn't I? I you haven't told me about and it. Witch hunts? Yeah, I know all about it. But Did yeah. you know that if you found the witch, you got their possessions, their yes. bank and land? Yes. Okay. So it was good to find as many witches as you can. So the system is, is so... Where the hell do you start? It's aberrated all the way through. So if a guy says, I believe in the free enterprise system, I don't even want to take the time out. If they say, do you feel that the system can be improved, and how can that be done? And then how would you deal with corruption amongst the politicians? You know, they'd ask questions, millions of them, if they were sane. Now, if people come from another world, if they're that smart to make that journey, what you say to them is, what do you think I ought to know? You don't talk to them about, you got a wife and two kids, and they're not interested in that shit. What do you think I ought to know if they're more advanced? They'll tell you what you ought to know. If they can do that, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you got a tough job in front of you. But I'd rather have a tough job than go along with this. I agree. If I wind up in jail, all right. But if you're not attached to things like the buildings we have here, I'm not attached to them. I do all I can in them. But if the government takes them over because they don't like the direction, that's possible too. So you have to include the possible or the highly probable. And you might get arrested or beaten up because they think you're a communist. You understand? People don't have enough of a value system to see where you differ from it. Everything and all Japanese look alike. All niggers look alike. You know, and when I was a kid, that was a thing. When the Jap appeared in town, we used to run down the street and look at him as kids. And we used to do terrible things. We used to say, Jimmy's sister is a cripple. Did you know that? Normal kids. How can they be conditioned to do that? And, and imagine kids that are insensitive to a blind person. They trip them. And, and in the and many cerebral insufficients were walking down the street when I was a kid. They were not hospitalized. 
So kids used to give them horse shit and say, eat it. The guy would eat it. They said, they thought, hey, this guy eats horse shit. And because the kids had no knowledge, no training. They were very cruel, but they, they were normal kids. Did you ever see that? The idiot in town? Now, I encountered that. I built a model airplane and I put it on the ground and one of the town insufficients were coming by and I'd wait so I'd see if he'd be amused by that and he came over and he he wrecked it completely. I learned a lot that day. I thought he might be interested in flying machine. So I was looking for justice, you know. Looking for justice will kill you. There's no such thing. Whatever happens is real. What you think should have happened is not real. So you're disappointed not in the world, in your value system. It's your value system that's screwed up, not the world. The world is normally screwed up by time. So if you say, well, that's terrible what people did Wednesday. They killed a black guy and he was the wrong guy. They, well, that's within probability. Whatever happens is real. Can you remember that? What you think should have happened is not. I've been fair to my wife, decent. I bought her everything she ever asked for. She ran away with a milk man. So, so what, what are you looking for? You don't know your wife's value systems that well. It's what it means. Or you don't know enough about people. Right? Now that's very hard to accept. Whatever happens is real. You go in for an examination one day and God says you got the last stages of cancer. You should have come much earlier. You see, you got about four months to live, wrap up your problems. Very hard for people to say, I see. You know what I mean? Because, they, but I'm only 40 years old. I'm only a kid and I'm bald. I lost my head from radiation, my hair. You know, the kid says, that's not fair. I haven't even begun to live yet. And the mother says, that's not fair too, you know. But whatever happens is real. Malaria, disease, people die young and old, and they die because we don't have sufficient research in all those areas. Now, how the hell do you get that across? That? I seem to get that across to most people that come here, but they are people that apparently seem to like the Venus Project. So they seem to be attuned to this, 